Hey, yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mayflower and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. Little change in setting, I kind of have my own little studio now, so it's kind of cool. But anyways, the last video I made was a melodic track, so for this video I thought we'd go back to some good old-fashioned dubstep since you guys seem to like these videos too. I kind of have like a divided audience here on YouTube, some of you guys like dubstep, some of you guys like future bass melodic stuff. I like both of them, so I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> But in my last dubstep video, I just kind of made a rhythm track with no direction at all. So I thought for this video, we should at least have some type of goal or style we're going for. So we're going to try to lay down some real rhythm. Real as opposed to, I don't know, but rhythm has kind of become, you know, like an umbrella term that includes a lot of things. But for this video, I just wanted to focus on, you know, that classic, you know, like infect style or someone in that area. So yeah, that is the idea for today. We're going to try to lay down some type of sick, real rhythm, infect style track. So let's go. All right, boys, let's freaking do this. First thing I'm gonna do is drag this BPM down all the way to 140. 140 is like the BPM for the genre we're going for. You know, it kind of really allows you to get into those grooves. To me, the genre really consists of three main parts. You got your drums, obviously. Um, then you have your sound design, which has to be sick. And then you have your flow. It's a super, you know, kind of bare bones and primal genre, which is kind of what I like about it. So let's get these drums freaking popping, boys. Kind of like big noisy claps are the things to go for here. You can even layer it up with, um, you know, a snare too. Throw a little hat in the offbeat. That's not the offbeat. There we go. And yeah, that's just a simple little beat we have now. So now we can start throwing in some stuff to start filling. I'm pretty sure I've used this exact sample a couple times. Um, you can just come here, back it up a little bit, and then, yeah, you got like a little cool thing to go into your snare, and I find this one works in particular pretty well. I think that's about it for the drum loop. Uh, we might come back to that later, but yeah, it's pretty cool for now. And I'm gonna put a little build here at the beginning just for fun. Yeah, instead of using like an offbeat like hey chant, I'm just gonna chop uh, the first little bit off of this, and let's see how this works. Maybe this will be cool. Now we have a little layout for a drop. So this is pretty similar to how I would build any track. Um, now I'm just gonna try to fill in a bunch of stuff and whatever works works. Pretty much how it goes. All right, so now we can move on to the part you've all been waiting for. Well, actually no one's probably waiting on it, but it is the funnest part to me. And that is the sound design for the bass we're gonna make. You know, you can't make a sick, you know, infect rhythm track without having a bass melting and bass. So I'm gonna be using this new plugin, it's called Serum. Um, not too many people are using it yet. But yeah, should be catching on here pretty soon. I think we're ahead of the way. I'm just joking, but same thing as last video. Um, I'm gonna use either the analog wavetables um, or the virtual right wavetables just because I know you guys have a lot of those. So here we go. And I'm gonna make a little LFO shape uh, like this. Throw it on the volume. There we go. Then we'll just widen this thing up, give it some more voices. And yeah, I'm just cycling through some virtual riot wavetables right now. Good old. Did I use that for my last video? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I've just made so many patches with these three wavetables right here. Um, there's so many possibilities. It's just a really good square sounding wavetable. LFO2 over here. Let's put this on half. Uh, I'm gonna put that on trigger and let's try some wavetable movement over here. Right, kind of cool. And let's throw some FM on this thing. Actually, no, we're not using FM. We're gonna try something. Mirror. How about mirror? All right, this is kind of sick. It's sounding um, kind of you know infect light filter on here just to see what it sounds like. What should I go for? Um, here we go. Let's try this. Where are these going? All right, let's try this. Put it on the cutoff. Get some movement in there. Don't want them right next to each other. And right now, I'm just moving the uh, the frequencies, which kind of changes the position of these two little notches, um, and it kind of completely changes the sound, like wherever I go. I really like that high-end um, resonant sound. It's kind of hurting my ears right now, uh, but I think we can take care of that. So, like I was saying, there's kind of like a high-end like that kind of came. Um, along with the resonance, so I gotta get rid of that somehow. So I'm gonna come to the filter, um, I'm gonna low cut it with 12. Um, yeah, that's um, if you want to see the visual, that's this one right here. So I'm just gonna be taking off that top end and moving it back and forth. Stuff. Yeah. 
yes, I know I already put a peak on the filter, but I think it sound cool back here too. And I'm gonna do one last thing just to make this bass a little bit cooler. I'm gonna come over here to the LFO3 and I'm gonna put this all the way to the side, just like this one. I'm gonna come back here to the matrix and obviously you can see everything that's going on inside the patch. And I can come down here to the LFO3 and put this to global and then master tuning. And we can do some pretty cool little pitch bending with this. Now obviously you don't want it that extreme. I was just doing that to show you guys. Um, but yeah, we're gonna come down to like uh, plus two. That should be good. Now I'm just gonna save this because this is actually kind of cool. Just call this uh, heck yeah effect. <laughs> and now we can test this bad boy out, shall we? Here we go. All right, all right, not bad, not bad at all. If you guys ask what type of processing um, I put on these because I don't really show mixing in my videos that much. Just to get things going, I would probably just throw on a little pre-made rack that I have, which are all saved up here. I have a bunch of little racks saved for, you know, whatever I might want to do. But right now I just want a quick, you know, little EQ, probably compression, uh, saturation, a little bit of distortion. And um, that's it. I just want to, you know, get it out there quick so I can, you know, capture the idea. Quick rack right here, which is ironically spelled wrong. So basically you're not looking to, you know, perfect the patch right now. You're just throwing something on it just to get it out there get the ideas flowing. Call that the quick rack because it's kind of like if you ever played Pokemon, um, there's like a quick ball that you can capture really quick. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty stupid analogy, but whatever works. So this little rack goes EQ, 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 Wave Shaper, um, Camel Crusher for some distortion, Saturn for some saturation, um, some phasers so that we can use it later on or something like that. Um, some compression and then more compression. So this is with it all off. And this is with it on. A whole lot louder. I got the sides cut off and it just adds a little bit more grit with that distortion I have in there. Now everything's set up. We just got to get a little bit creative with how we use it and we should be good. So like I said before, this genre has three parts. Drums, sound design, um, and the flow. So we're just going to work on that flow right now. Automate this right here. Something like this, something simple. And that is pretty cool. And I'm gonna keep on adding on to this build as we go because I kind of need it for reference. So I think I'm gonna make another LFO shape because this is um, on its own, it's kind of boring. I'm gonna try to fill in this little gap here. And I just made a duplicate of the patch we made earlier, just copied it over so it's that much easier. And now we can make a little variation of it, and this is where, you know, getting creative with your bass lines come in. So this is the LFO shape of the original patch. It's kind of like a ramp up and then a ramp down. So to make something different that fits with this as well, um, I kind of have all this negative space over here to work with, if that makes any sense. So this is where the volume's coming down. So maybe we can uh, move all this over to the side and then make some type of variation. Of it. Now we have the level just riding up the little ramp. But that's going really slow. Obviously, we're going to turn it up. But what it's doing with my cursor, basically, um, it's going whoop, whoop, and then whoop, and then back to a whoop, whoop. If that makes any sense. A little variation on the last bar just for fun. Now I'm going to start using these, like, Lego blocks and kind of just go crazy with it. a really cool switch up it kind of falls down because I turned down the rate of the tuning and hang on I might be on to something here let's try a triple kick on the second part I actually love how that drops in so I'm gonna do that on the last one as well and if y'all are wondering how to do the sub um, you can just take that same patch um, turn the oscillator off and put the uh, same level control you had and just put that on the sub um, and then turn it on and now you have the same exact shape, but um, just a sub. Not forget the sub, and I don't care that this is not lining up, whatever. <laughs> and to top it off, I guess we just kind of need, you know, some type of cool vocal sample in these gaps. Trying to find something like cool and dark um, just to fit the vibe we have right now. I'm pretty sure this is, what is Dr. Doom? Is that Fantastic Four? I don't know. Death shall be your reward. Kind of cool. Cool, I think we're done. Um, I think I have some arrangement issues, but I'll, I'll just fix that in the end. But yeah, you know, I think we got pretty close to the goal. It sounds kind of infected. And it definitely has the rhythm feel, so I think we did a pretty all right job, boys. So I guess I'm just going to stop talking and let you guys hear what we made. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So three, two, one.
Actually, my second try of making this video. Um, the first time I was at my old place, and then I got this, and I felt like making a video, so I was like, ah, I'll just make another song. So this is what the first one sounded like. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now that I have this place, I don't have to worry about people sleeping and being loud and stuff like that. So I feel like I can make a lot more videos here. So I'm super excited for that. So if you guys have any video ideas or something you want to see on the channel, uh, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to read all of them. But other than that, I think it's going to do it for this video, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.